Hi guys. So we're doing things a little bit differently today. I am usually the person that's behind the scenes. But things have been a little bit crazy around here. So we are gonna check this hive. See if we're ready for a super. This is our late June nuke. And today is August 18th, 2020. So we're gonna get started, smoke them and see how they're looking. Well, no bees in the lid, except for one that looks like it was smashed last time. We've got some building going on on the top of this inner box. I can see just from looking where we are now. Quite a few bees on the inner cover. Got a little bit of brood comb going on. Burr comb, not brood comb. Let's get a rack and we will get in here. By the looks of things, they are just starting to draw on this frame on the other side. Got a little bit right here and just some shadowing going on. We're going to set that one off to the side. And again, just starting to draw that out barely and a little bit going on on that side as well so that would be frame number two frame three I'm not usually the one that's in here, so he's a little better at this than I am. I think I just smashed one. There's some good drawing going on on that side. bit on that side. I am not going to do a full inspect today. I am just trying to see where they're at, see if they're ready for a super. And see what's going on in here. I am also a lot shorter, so a little bit easier for him to get into these hives, especially since we're standing on a hillside. 
this one is on the heavier side and they've got some honey on the top of there capped see some pollen got some more uncapped honey and a fair amount of drawn out on that side I am not really even going to look for the queen today, mainly because he's a lot better at finding her than I am. So we're just gonna let it go. We've got a ton of what looks like brood on this one. Oh yeah. So they're doing really well on that one. Some uncapped honey at the top. Beautiful pattern on that. Again, we've got honey on the top, brood on the bottom. And I am sticking to these frames. But everything looks really good there. These bees are bees that we got from a gentleman locally. And one of the things that we've noticed is we have got a very, very, very small number of mites. I am checking these and in him checking them as well. We really don't see a whole lot. Um, when we had the solid bottom board on, we would see a couple here and there, but the gentleman that we got these from raises commercially for honey production and sells very limited. So we got a good batch and Everything's looking great on those. We're gonna slide those down, continue on. I am not gonna check every one of these frames, mainly because I just wanna see what they're doing on the outside and see if we are ready for a super, which I'm pretty sure that we probably are at this point. These frames in the middle are heavy and I'm short. So we're just gonna skip them not worried about that queen. She's doing her job. We're down near the end now. And next to last frame. Oh, buddy, get out of there. They have really got these glued together. Wow. You can see, once I lift this up, how they've got the propolis tying these together. And they're drawing a fair amount on that side, which is the side that's the inside. The outside they are just starting on. So we've got just a few highlights of yellow wax here and there. A little bit here and there on this one on the outside edges and then the middle is looking a little bit better. And then On the last frame, pretty much just some very light shading going on on the outside or the inside and then the outside, a couple little spots here and there. So they are getting there. This hive's not going quite as quickly as the first one, the, the first of June. We got the other nuke and we call it the beast hive for a reason. They are 
really going crazy. This one's doing well also. They're just a little bit further behind and everything's looking good. So I think given what we're seeing, looking down through how they've got things built on the outside frames, everything looks good. He's not happy with me. She's not happy with me. I'm going to slide these all back. He's back in there. Where's one that's not happy with me? We'll give her a little bit of smoke, send her back on her merry way. So, maybe just a tad early for a super, but I think we're going to do it anyways, mainly because we haven't been consistently getting in here once a week. Things have been busy. So we're just going to go ahead and add that super. We are not putting a queen excluder on because we are only building right now for the bees themselves. And we shouldn't have a problem with them coming up into this super because we did have a hive that was a captured swarm. They ended up going queenless. They weren't doing well. It's almost too late in the season to queen them and give them a chance of survival. They got robbed out twice by the large hive. So we did take one of the frames that they had drawn on and put it in here. That'll draw them up. We've got a wasp flying in there. And they are already starting to come up through there. So that is not a problem at all. We're gonna get this thing buttoned back up and get into the big ones, see how they're doing. Come on, ladies. And of course it's on backwards. We do have a top vent in these. So it can't just go on one way or the other. It's gotta actually go on. Like that. So we're gonna shut it off, hook it back up, and move on to number two. 